A string of suspicious events at military bases near Washington, D.C. has officials on alert. It raises questions that a copycat of a recent crime spree is on the loose and lives are in immediate danger. Our nation's capital gets plenty attention. Military, Secret Service, and other authorities work around the clock to keep it safe. But, as with every other major city, disaster can strike at any moment. Considering the high population of the region, people come and go frequently. It could be easy for an attacker to slip into the D.C. area, cause havoc, and slip away. We saw recently how a lone criminal brought the city of Austin to its knees with a few well-placed packages. Is it far-fetched to think that a similar crisis could arise in another city? Our worst fears have come true as a series of mysterious packages arrived in several locations in Washington, D. See investigators have discovered they did, in fact, contain explosive material. Worse still were the targets of the bombs. All three were military installations. This month, the city of Austin was terrorized by a serial bomber. Two people died when they opened mysterious packages left at their front doors. Numerous other packages were sent by this bomber, which were found before they could reach their destination. When the culprit of these bombings was caught and subsequently killed, we all thought it was over. I guess we were wrong. It seems like at least one additional person is using packages as a means to spread death and fear. It is a nefarious means of spreading terror. Unsuspecting victims think the package is perfectly harmless. Who wouldn't want to find a package left for them at the front door? It could be something they were expecting or a surprise gift from a loved one. Instead, they are met with a horrible death. These packages were sent to military bases. We don't know if they were addressed to specific personnel, but the intent was clear. Someone is targeting our military, using the same tactic as the Austin bomber. This culprit was hoping to catch our service members unawares. Thankfully, in this case, they were quick to investigate the strange packages. But it raises serious questions. Who is behind this new string of packages? Is it a domestic terrorist? A foreign power? Perhaps ISIS is employing a new strategy to harm our military. Perhaps the FBI can use forensics to identify the person or persons behind these packages. Hopefully, they can track them down and end this quickly. But there is another question that needs to be raised. Why did these packages reach their destination? It's clear they were sent through the mail or another parcel service. Doesn't FedEx, UPS, and the post office have ways of identifying dangerous materials? Shouldn't they be able to scan packages to discover explosive material, like black powder? One of the packages had a GPS and fuse attached. Surely the mail service has tools to pick up on such things. If not, then why?